Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 12 and 13. I haven't read the chapter this morning. I believe it would be beneficial to read the whole thing. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, as every morning, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to give you thanks, first and foremost, for all that you have given us, this life that you have preserved for us, the many blessings that you have bestowed unto us. And we thank you for all that you have done for us in that you have redeemed us from certain destruction which we have caused upon ourselves. And for this sake, the least that we can do is be thankful for what you have done and to listen to what you have said. said we ought to be doing. Because if we go after our own thoughts, our own understanding or the understanding of this world, we have testified and know based on our former life that this is the path of destruction and the end of this is death. But if we testify to the fact that from we have come unto you to follow you, we have seen the glory that you have started to reveal in us. We know that this path in your direction, in obedience to your word, being led by your Holy Spirit, shall lead us unto life eternal. And I just pray, as always, that we do not deviate from this path, but that you correct us each and every time we try to stray away from that truth. I pray, as always, dear Lord, that you search our hearts, our mind, and we just ask dear lord that where there be any evil stored up any bitterness anything that is not of you i pray this morning for each and every soul that you cleanse us and purify us dear lord sanctify us by your truth so that we are able to be filled with your holy spirit in every nook and crevice of our being and being led by you we shall please you with this life and having pleased you with this life we shall be honoured by you in being given life eternal. So as we read these words this morning, dear Lord, which covers these tests and trials and why we go through it and how we ought to be operating in it, I just pray even now that you continue to help us. I pray, as always, that you keep us strong and from falling. Keep us fervent in the faith. Keep us loving one towards another. I pray that you help us in all our ailments, in all our sickness, our afflictions and those thorns in our sides that we yet are to overcome. As you have said, your grace is sufficient for us. Let us not fall away. And as always, that we are rearing up the children. Rear them up in the knowledge and truth of who you are. So when they are of age, they shall cleave unto you and never neglect nor reject you. This is my prayer always for each and every soul. Lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. All righty. So First Peter chapter 4 says, For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind for he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men but to the will of god amen for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness lusts excess of wine revelings banquetings and ad ad abominable idolatries wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. For this, for, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand, be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. 
And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. <laughs> Use hospitality one to, to another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Amen. This chapter here is a one that I call upon quite a few times in the past. Right? Um... And not to say that I'm, I'm done away with it because I call upon it. Nah, this is a good chapter to remember. Anytime you're going through anything, right? Anything at all. Anything. Anything. No big or small in life. This is a good reminder why we go through stuff, right? As it started off here. And I, if, if you haven't, if this is the first time you're watching one of these videos... Just look back. You'll see there's a common trend where I'll ever so often I try to remind everyone that it is it is it is a given that we are going to suffer for Christ's sake. And why we suffer for Christ's sake? Because there's still evil in the world and evil hates God. Evil automatically hates Christ. And if you are Christ's his, then they're gonna hate you, right? But we are not permitted or instructed or commanded to hate in return right we are commanded to love even our enemies so this again is one thing that we're going to suffer for christ's sake is doing his will doing and walking as he had walked when he came and taught us how to walk as 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 mankind right so i like I, I, as i said i like this because you you would notice that every morning i thought i pray for um all of us whilst we go through the test and trials of life some people might think that i am it might be um vain repetition but <laughs> trust me i mean it each and every morning that i pray it for each and every person including myself that the lord helps us through test and trials because each and every day each and every moment that we wake up we're going to face the test and trials of life not only because we um not yeah we're gonna face it especially because we see that the time's coming up that the evil one is gonna be ramping up his his um offensive attacks right and we ought to be equipped enough to alert be alert of them and to overcome them through as it says here love above all things have fervent charity among yourselves for charity shall cover the multitude of sins and that's not all your sin but it shall even help in the forgiveness of other people's sin because if you can pray for somebody 
even when they're doing harm of, unto you. In so much, we do pray that everyone do repent and turn unto Christ for themselves, right? So, yeah, just a quick reminder here, right? Don't think it's strange when these things happen unto us, right? We are partakers of Christ's suffering, as the word has said. When he does come back for us, those who suffered on, this, on his behalf shall be glorified also on his behalf. And these are the things that we should set our minds on remembering. So anything that you want to share, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.